Hello my friends, I hope everyone is doing well. I have a messy kitchen and it really, really needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna do a deep clean on my kitchen. So I'm starting out with putting all the dishes away. I didn't have too many, so it doesn't take me very long. And I had just kind of been accumulating things on the counter, so it looked a little bit cluttered and messy. I had made oatmeal for breakfast and I didn't clean up my mess. Does anyone else like to put a little bit of sweetened condensed milk in their oatmeal? Oh my goodness, it's so delicious. So I didn't have a lot of dishes. I had done dishes the night before, so it was basically just what we used when we ate breakfast. So I've been staying on top of the dishes. Um, and so it goes pretty fast, especially when you speed it up for YouTube purposes. And I didn't have enough dishes to to run and load in the dishwasher, so I just washed them all by hand. And so at this point, my kitchen is pretty much clean. Uh, so after I wipe down the counters, um, I'll start with the deep cleaning. So don't clean out the inside of the refrigerator, which probably needs it, but I'll get that another time. But I just clean the outside of the refrigerator, which I had been ignoring. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I And now on to the stovetop I finally bought the liquid version of the barkeeper's friend And I was using... Um, some kind of a pad that I got from Dollar Tree. I, I guess it's stainless steel. I don't know what it is, but it looks like those copper pads that people are using, but it's not copper, it's silver. So, uh, But I was really amazed at how good of a job that the combination did. I don't know if it was the pad or the, the scrubber or the barkeeper's friend, but my stove got really clean. And I think I like the liquid barkeeper's friend rather than the powder because it doesn't seem to get as caught up in all the crevices like the powder one does. I 
Could be driving to your place, but now the ground is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. And on the stove, I'm using that Mr. Clean Clean Freak. I really like that one too. It works very well. And it smells good too. Another time, another place, I just know. Mm -hmm. It could have been you. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite cleaner. And I like this little tool. It's just a it's a razor blade with a razor blade holder and it just works really well when all else fills, it'll get that little burnt off bits that are stuck on there. And then I shine it up with some glass cleaner. And the handle broke off of my microwave, but it still works. Eventually I'll replace it. Just not yet. And I usually clean the microwave about once a week, so I thought by just wiping it down I would be able to get the little stuff that had been left behind. Um, but I couldn't. There was stuff stuck on there still, so I sprayed some Jaws cleaner. So many cleaners today. <laughs> But as soon as I sprayed that and let it sit for a minute, it came right. Everything came right off. And my dishwasher was really dirty. It's it's funny how you just get blind to things that you see every day. But it was it was pretty bad. A little bit embarrassing, in fact. And the walls needed a little bit of attention as well. I really like that Mr. Clean Clean Freak. It just took everything off so easily. And here's round two of putting the dishes away. And I shine up those sinks. They always look so pretty after they're cleaned and shined. And now for the cabinets. This took a lot longer than it appears to have. Um, I'm using the Jaws hardwood cleaner. So they get pretty clean, but it looks like they have like a lot of scuffs. So you'll see white spots on it that look dirty, but it's just where the paint is worn off and I just need to 
to touch it off. The stain, I guess, not the paint. They're stained. And I even did the top cabinets. You asked me how I've been. And I probably should have gotten a ladder instead of just the step stool. I don't reach the very, very top. Oh well, maybe next time. And on this cabinet, I really couldn't reach the very top because the stove was in the way, but I got smart and I got a spatula and I used that to reach a little bit higher. And then all that's left is the vacuuming and mopping. And here it is, my beautifully sparkling clean kitchen. I love it. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. I'd love to get to know you better. See you next time.